resisting the growing calls to resign, Australian Deputy Prime Minister Barnaby Joyce gave in to the overwhelming pressure. On Monday uh, morning at the party room, I will step down as the leader of the National Party and Deputy Prime Minister of Australia. That pressure began to intensify in the straight-talking conservative politician earlier this month when news broke of an extramarital affair with his former media staff who was expecting his child. That led to a public scolding last week by Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, who stopped short of calling for Joyce to resign. Barnaby has acknowledged his fault, uh, his error, his grief about his conduct. He has to consider his own position, obviously. Joyce has already survived one hit to his position late last year when the country's high court ruled he was ineligible to serve as a member of parliament because it was revealed that Joyce was a New Zealand citizen. He won his seat and the position of deputy prime minister back in a by-election and just last week appeared resolved in his refusal to resign. This was a personal issue, a personal issue that's been dragged into the public arena and I don't believe people should be resigning in any job over personal issues. But the media scrutiny continued, and this week, an accusation of sexual harassment surfaced. Joyce, who has campaigned on family note, values, uh, denied the allegation but the said it was the straw that broke the camel's back. It's incredibly important that that be a circuit breaker, not just for the parliament, but more importantly, that it be a circuit breaker for Vicky, it be a circuit breaker for my unborn child, it be a circuit breaker for my daughters, and it be a circuit breaker for Nat. It's got to stop. This has got to stop, and it's not fair on them. While Barnaby Joyce says he plans to resign as the nation's deputy prime minister, he says he has no plans to step down as a member of parliament. That will ensure the government retains its slim one-vote majority. But all of this is proving to be a great distraction for Malcolm Turnbull, who's in the U.S. for high-level talks with President Donald Trump. Turnbull released a brief statement later on Friday thanking Barnaby Joyce for his service, but said little else. The National Party is expected to pick a new leader once Joyce officially resigns on Monday. Greg DeBarro, CGTN, Sydney.